Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. We just released an awesome series of Christmas card classes. And for a limited time, we have packets to support those Christmas card classes. I've always done a series of three Christmas card stamp a stack class packets. And with the start of Card Club for Cool People, I didn't know exactly how I was going to um, continue doing that, but I knew that I wanted to continue doing that to support you in your Christmas card making efforts. It's the easy button, right? So today we're going to make this adorable little mini Kit Kat treat box. Let me show you. you can stand that up and put it at everybody's spot at the table. Just a cute little mini. I got these um, Christmas theme little mini Kit Kats at the grocery store and it holds two. Now the fun part about this is if you know me, if you follow Kitchen Table Stamper, you know that when I release a packet, whether it be Card Club for Cool People, that's our monthly subscription, or a class packet that stands alone like this, I love to take um, and do a video where we take what's left from your class packet because there's always uh, a substantial amount of awesome product left for you to play with. After you've done the card class, the Humble Home Stampa Stack, you're gonna have nearly a quarter package of paper left. You're gonna have lots of little peppermints, lots of red and white twine, some ribbon left over. And we want to support you and what you can do with that leftover product. So if you've gotten the Humble Home Stamp a Stack class packet from us, and by the way, they're growing quickly. We made a very limited number and there's just a few left. Um, if you got that, bookmark this video, save this video because you can take a little bit of garden green cardstock, a little bit of real red scrap, and then make this with your leftover paper and twine and peppermints, all right? So while supplies last, you can check out kitchentablestamper.com slash shop and then look in the packets, class packets category to see if we have any humble home stamp stack class packets left. If you're interested, act quickly. This stamp stack makes six cards with lots of leftovers to play. You get the PDF instructions with the packet and the PDF instructions, if you've never gotten a kitchen table stamper PDF, um, supply list, sources, uh, it's a one sheet wonder stamp a stack, so you get the wonder recipe right there, full color photos, measurements and written instructions, close up photos, all included in one beautiful PDF download that you can print if you like. We also have the PDF by itself available in the shop. So if you're looking for a little help with your Christmas cards, this is just one of the samples. I've been putting the samples from this stamp -a stack into my class packets as I mail them out. So spoiler alert, you'll get um, one of the samples if you purchase the, the card class. All right, so let's get started. It's super simple, fast, fast, fast. I've got garden green card stock here and it is three by four and three quarters. And we're gonna score that. Let me get my Simply Scored tool according to the template and trim it. Now the template picture will be on the project sheet. I just showed you a glimpse at our PDFs. We do beautiful PDF project sheets that are free at kitchentablestamper.com. You can go grab the instructions for this for free over there. There'll be a link in the description below. All right, we're going to go on the three inch side and score at half an inch on both sides. And then we're going to score the four and three quarter inch at one and a half and two. Then while you're here, you can go from one end. So this longer panel. So you notice that I flipped from that one and a half inch side. So flip. And then we're going to mark at one and three eighths. And then you're gonna turn over and mark at one and three eighths. All right, so we've got our scores. We've marked for our diagonal cut. And now we're gonna go ahead and work the scores with a bone folder, trim according to the template, and assemble with some tear and tape adhesive. All right, this is a very simple one. To trim according to the template. We're going to make this glue tab. Um, so we're going to cut an angle on the glue tab and straight along the score. And then we're going to cut straight along the score and angle on the glue tab. So that is the bottom of our box. Do the same on the other side. All 
All right, then we're gonna trim the back of our box to have those cool little angled sides. So you've made that mark with your assembly score tool. Grab your scissors on that mark and cut right up to the fold. Same thing here, but I'm gonna go, because I'm right-handed, down from the fold to the mark. And there is your cute little diagonal side treat box. All right, to make it just a little bit easier, I've got one and three eighths by one and seven eighths designer series paper. This is the Take a Bow designer series paper. And we're gonna add that to the front of our treat before we assemble. A little bit of liquid glue, and it goes right in this little section right here. Isn't that paper cute? I love this. All right, then we're going to put adhesive on the short glue tab and the long front tab. Remove that liner with the Take Your Pick tool. Now fold in the diagonal back side, fold up that bottom glue tab, and then you're gonna fold back those front tabs and you've got yourself a cute little box. Now, this is our challenge in the kitchen table Stamper Craft Social. We have a awesome, very active, wonderful group of stampers on Facebook, the Kitchen Table Stamper Craft Social. Link is in the description below. And this week's challenge is to make one of these little treat boxes. Make it your own, get your own supplies, um, and do a different paper, a different bundle. Um, let us know what else fits besides mini Kit Kats. We wanna know. We have a challenge every Thursday on the Craft Social, and you're welcome to come and play. There are prizes, by the way. All right, I've got my pecan pie cardstock. Versamark ink, uh, my buddy. So this buddy is part of the embossing essentials toolkit. I love the buddy. It helps to keep stray embossing powder to a minimum. If you have any fingerprints on this cardstock or static, um, any oil, this cuts all the nonsense and it'll give us a nice clean image. I've also got a piece of real red, just a little scrap here that I cut into this adorable banner shape using the Stylish Shapes dies. It's this short, skinny little banner. If you're looking to replace that, maybe you don't have Stylish Shapes. Uh, this is about 7 16 by 1 and 9 16, so a little scrap will do. I'm going to do my sentiment and my house with Versamark. I'm gonna emboss them white for some nice high contrast. There's my little house. Got my white embossing powder. And I have the embossing additions toolkit, but I rarely use the little tray. I like to just take a piece of paper, tap the excess off under the paper, pick the paper and drop back into the container. I find that to be just a little bit lower maintenance than um, using that tray. And then I've got my banner and Merry Christmas from the same Humble Home stamp set. Now the Humble Home bundle um, is on stop sale, but it will be back soon, um, week after next, I believe. If you're watching this on the release date, I think it's the week of October 22nd or 21st. So keep an eye out. The punch is out of stock, but it will be back. Got Merry Christmas on this little banner. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I can't get over how cute that is. All right, let's heat these and set the powder. I'm going to use my heat tool. Got my reverse grip tweezers from that embossing tool kit. Love these tweezers. All right, one more little bit of stamping here real quick. Let's let that cool off. I've got some basic white cardstock and my Stampin' Pear Snap Garden Green ink. 
And I've got the little tree from Snowy Wonder bundle. I love the accessories in that Snowy Wonder bundle. Little presents and snowflakes and different kinds of trees. This one is just the perfect size to use with the house. All right, let's get that a second to dry while we punch the house. It's a little cutie and then we'll die cut the tree using this die from the snowy wonder die set coordinated little tool bundle love it you can save 10 percent when you buy them together that cute all right there's all of our parts now, I put a double twine bow. Let me get my baker's twine. This is the red and white baker's twine. And you're gonna get a whole spool if you get that Humble Home stamp a stack class packets. You'll have plenty left to do these little treats. So I'm just folding, doubling up my twine. I don't know what I got there, 22 inches maybe, 20 inches. I want the loops to be kind of big so that it'll show behind all of the fun little details on this treat. I like the extra pattern and texture that it brings. That was a little small. Let's go a little bit bigger. All right, ribbon, scissors, and I'll split the loop where it was folded and then cut it off of the spool. There it is. Get a glue dot and add that to the box. I like to just kind of fold it up, roll it up, and then add it on the back of the knot. And then we can just drop that right on the box where we want it, right at the edge. Got Merry Christmas, and I'm going to put another glue dot on the back on the left side and then I'm going to grab a mini stamp and dimensional and I'm going to put it really low maybe even just to cut it in half and put it really low because we're going to put it across the bottom of the house and the house is going to go on dimensionals so let's just add at the Christmas end of things at the end Add a little dimensional there. I like to, I can be a little heavy handed with the adhesive, but I want things to stay together and look nice. So there's our little banner. Let's get some dimensional on the house. Now the house is gonna go past the top edge. So make sure that you put your adhesive accordingly, not too high. You don't want it to stick to the candy. And then your tree is gonna go over the banner that's gonna be up on dimensionals. So keeping all those in mind when you do your adhesive placement. All right, there's our house and our banner. And add a tree. Keep that little bow out the way. So cute. Last up is to embellish. We've got some um, red and white adhesive back peppermints. This is what's left from my kit. Let's go ahead and add a couple of these. I can't even resist these. It's such a little treat, but I'm still using three. If you wanted to stop with just the one on the house top there, you probably could, especially if you're making a lot of them, but I'm putting three. I love these little embellishments. They are just my favorites. They will come back. Um, you get a half a pack in the class packet if you pick up that optional class packet. All right, so there is our little Humble Home Kit Kat treat holder. If you've got any questions about the Stampa Stack that matches these projects, whether in the PDF only 
or with class packet while supplies last, you can email us staycrafty at kitchentablestamper.com. To shop Stampin' Up 24 7, you can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.